My name is Mike Mazel. I work with H and H Engineering. Uh, we're part of the uh, West Side Purple Line. Uh, we're building eight miles of DF block track, all inside a tunnel, going from Wilshire Western uh, down to La Cienega in Wilshire. With typical DF track, uh, one of the biggest issues, and this is this is an issue that everyone is going to have, no matter what. Um, it's it's happened on every single one of my projects. Uh, you're going to have rebar that comes out of whether it's a slab or an invert or whatever it is um, and they're going to be the stirrups for the plinths. Those stirrups are so difficult to get spaced in the right area um, that a lot of times you got to come back and you got to you know just get rid of them. You got to cut them off and get rid of them. You got to uh, usually you'll have to come back and drill new new embeds in uh, but that is a very time-consuming process and there, there's just no way to, to get it perfect. I, I've been on several jobs where I've tried to get it perfect and it's not going to happen. Uh, so this type of construction completely eliminates all of the rebar. This DF block is probably the easiest I, I've seen. Uh, I've seen blocks where uh, you, you have uh, just a standard shoulder. Um, uh, with inserts going into the block and then then you have to have some sort of encapsulation surround or, around it uh, and those blocks are very difficult when you're handling especially when you have to move them um, but these blocks since they already have the the inserts for the fasteners installed uh, it's it's a very simple simple system and uh, man I, I'm using a lot less manpower than I've ever used on a, on a DF block system I do believe that it's safer and it's, it does provide a higher quality product. Uh, that it just minimizes the exposure that, that we have um, to, to the elements out, out inside the tunnel. With this system, we're pouring uh, cow pies. And uh, so we're pouring, we're locking in two blocks every 10 feet. And that allows us to pour out about 400 to 500 feet in one shift. So with DF track, you, you would never get those types of productions. Uh, so that's really nice. So once we get the, the uh, two ties locked in, we can run whatever high rail equipment we want over it. Um, and then when we come back and do the infill, we're gonna be looking at probably pouring six, 700 feet uh, a shift um, with that operation. So yeah, the, the, the distances that we're getting uh, with this type of construction is man, a lot more than you would ever get with normal DF with a lot less people. I like this ins installation. I wish we could do all projects with uh, this type of construction. And you know, I could see this application being used for embedded track if you have a, a dedicated right away. Um, but I mean, I, I would totally stand behind this product.